Good morning. So uh, I was talking to a good friend of mine a couple weeks ago, and she was asking me about her desire to move into a different profession. And we had a great conversation because she was saying, you know, look, I mean, I went to school to train for this. Um, I, I don't know what else I really could do or should do. I just know that I'm not happy in my job, in my profession. And uh, it was a really interesting conversation. Um, I think I've been there once or twice before in my career. And so I asked her, I said, so what's, you know, what's, what's keeping you from making a change? She said, well, it just seems like it's such a big job. Like that's, I mean, how do you go about deciding how to change your career? You know, what steps do I take? So we talked about it for a while. And I said, you know, let me ask you this. You kind of have an idea of what industry you might want to go into. So what, what one thing could you do today that maybe is not going to change your career, but it would take you that first step to maybe just seeing, learning? And as we talked through it, she realized that she had a friend who worked for an organization in a business that she was really interested in. And she'd never talked to her about it as if, you know, she might want to change and go into it. I said, well, then let's do that. Why don't you call that person and just have an initial conversation? So she did. Called me back uh, earlier last week and said, you know, not only did I have a great conversation, but I realized that how what I've been in is actually really perfectly suited to what they do. And they have a position and they're considering me for it. I thought that was pretty cool. But what was it? What was the impetus? And why am I out here putting my tennis shoes on? <laughs> I heard once upon a time that uh, if you uh, wanted to exercise or get fit and you were not getting there, you were not doing it, that the best thing you could do was actually put on the clothes, like put on your tennis shoes, put on the running outfit, put on the yoga outfit, you know, whatever you're going to do. And the sheer act of putting on the outfit may not make you exercise that day, but it's going to be a lot easier to start to make the transition. And uh, I know the last couple of weeks I have been so busy and I have not met my exercise goals. And you know, this, you know, you always have the, an excuse. You know, it's got a lot on my plate, it's rainy out, it's cold out, I don't wanna go do that. It's a lot easier sometimes to do nothing than to do something. So what did I do today? Put on the tennis shoes, put on the outfit. Now, I'm not gonna go for a run today. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. But I am gonna go use my weighted hula hoop and I'm gonna to try two pull-ups. Before we left on our little vacation, uh, or kind of traveling road trip this fall, I was able to do 10 pull-ups, granted with some help. Um, and then I let that go because we got you know, other things that were a focus. So in order to get back on track for me today, it's all about putting on the shoes. In fact, all this week, it's about putting on the shoes. Understanding one step can get you closer to your goal, even if you're not quite sure what your goal is. But in order to take that first step, you gotta be like Mr. Rogers, you got to put the shoes on, one shoe at a time, change the outfit to be appropriate for where you're going, and make sure you're getting yourself in the right headspace. Hope you have a great week. Mm -hmm.